Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 1.8, Problem 4. This is Section 1.8, Problem 4. It says Elizabeth, Elizabeth was born in the year 2017. A, what year will it be when she is 25 years old? And then B, how old will she be in the year 2050? So for A, she's born in the year 2017. What year will it be when she's 25 years old? Well, that will be 25 years later. So for part A, we can just add 2017, the year she's born, plus 25. 25 years later, she'll be 25 years old, what year will it be? So if I add, I start in the far right column, 7 plus 5 is 12, I put the 2 from the 12 below that column, and carry the 1 from the 12 over to the next column over to the left, and then I will add 1 plus 1 plus 2, so 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 2 more is 4, and then I have 0 plus nothing underneath it is 0. And then I have 2 plus nothing underneath it is 2. So the answer is 2042. She'll be 25 years old in the year 2042. That's the answer to part A. Now for B, how old will she be in the year 2050? Well, how many years are in between 2017 and 2050? To figure that out, we can just subtract 2050 minus 2017. So, as I start the subtraction in the far right column, I want to subtract 0 minus 7. Well, the 0 is not big enough to subtract 7 from. So I will borrow. I'll go over one column to the left. I find a, f a 5 in the top of that column. I'll cross it off reduce it by 1 down to a 4, and that will allow me to change the 0 in the far right column from a 0 into a 10. And now I will subtract 10 minus 7. That I can do. That's 3. The next column over to the left, I have 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. And then the next column, I have 0 minus 0, which is 0. The next column to the left, 2 minus 2, which is also 0. So I have 0, 0, 3, 3. Well, the zeros on the left, I don't need to write. So I can just say that the answer is 33. So how old will Elizabeth be in the year 2050? She will be 33 years old. And I got that from subtracting the two years, 2050 minus 2017.